Hello, Leo. Welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how the person that you are thinking about or connecting with, what are they thinking or feeling about you? And what are their intentions for towards you? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so you know the drill. This reading will not resonate for every Leo watching. And not every Leo reading is for you. So take what resonates for you. You can also check out the playlist for your sign. It's linked in the description box. And there's plenty more videos there for Leo. All right, so let's jump right in for Leo. Spirit Angels Guides. What messages, what guidance do you have for Leo regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? What are they thinking, feeling about Leo at this time, Spirit? What are they thinking, feeling about Leo? Okay. Five of Swords, all right. What else? What are they thinking? Pretty sure that one flipped. Yes. I'm gonna get one more. What are they thinking or feeling? Okay. So we have the Five of Swords, the Sun, the Nine of Swords, Temperance, which is Sagittarius energy, and the Page of Swords. So I feel like they want to talk about something with the Page of Swords, maybe bring clarity to a situation with the Sun, maybe resolve a problem with Temperance. There's fear, anxieties here because I feel there's already an existing conflict. Um, so let's find out what this conflict is about. Spirit, tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here, Spirit? Why is the Five of Swords here? The King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I'm instantly feeling like someone feels um, responsible. That's the energy I, I'm picking up there. Like it's my fault kind of energy or um, someone feeling bad. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Yeah. Five of Cups, exactly what I was picking up on. Someone's having regrets. I feel as your person. They're feeling bad, you know, just like the Five of Cups here. This is someone that feels bad for themselves, feels guilty, is sad. Could be a water sign, does not have to be. So why the fear? I think it's because of that, because they feel guilty. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Eight of Swords. This is straight up fear. Stuck because of fear. Paralyzed by fear. Um, in their head about something. Um, constantly thinking. Four of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So again, it's almost like this like energy of someone that's... I don't know. Like They're not... Not doing well, not at their best. <laughs> Might even be like afraid of rejection or just feeling like, eh, things aren't working out for me. Knight of Cups is behind that. So this could be that they're thinking about an apology maybe because temperance is here. And when I see temperance with a card like the Five of Swords, I think of someone slowly fixing a problem. Tell me about temperance. Why is temperance here, Spirit? King of Pentacles. I think they're they're showing up as a as a king, except for this page of swords. Because I think they're trying to be like the bigger person or appear like, yeah, and then the Ten of Cups. Ooh, some of you might have been married to this person, maybe had a family. Others of you, I'm seeing like family interference, like brothers, sisters, mother-in-law, father-in-law, sister-in-law, etc., etc., etc. Three of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So yes, it could have been some, some 
thing that kind of got in the way, someone that got in the way. But I'm also getting, you know, if that's not resonating, if you don't have a third party situation, uh, it's almost like they're stepping up or trying to appear like more mature, more seasoned, <laughs> more learned, right? That's kind of what I'm getting here. There's a devil Capricorn energy. So I think that this person made a, a huge mistake with you. Maybe they were going after like instant gratification. Maybe they made choices that led to being stuck. I feel like if you did have um, a family with this person, if you were married, maybe they weren't faithful or they hid something from you. Um, one of you watching, it was gambling, like something with money. I'm seeing like, um, like someone at a casino, blackjack table, and online gaming, but it, but you didn't know about it. And maybe other people helped cover the cover this up, or other people were a distraction. That's obviously not for everyone, but I know that at least one of you. If that's you, please leave a comment down below. Okay, so let's see what this page of swords is about. What's this message about? It could just be that they're observing you, keeping tabs on you as well. Tell me about the page of swords. Spirit, why is the page of swords here for Leo? Queen of Swords, Two of Swords. So um, I feel like this is someone that's terrified to come clean. Um, but I feel with the Page of Swords and Queen of Swords, maybe there's multiple ways to interpret this. Um, it could be that this is how they see you. You don't want to really, you have a, a, a wall. You know, you're blocking them from getting too close with the Queen of Swords and the Two of Swords here. Um, but it could also be that they're just, they know they have to come clean or be very direct and honest. And that's hard to do. We have the world at the bottom of the deck. So maybe this is the only way that they can st start things over or have a, a clean break, a clean new start. Can I get one more for the page of swords? Spirit, why is the page of swords here? The Hierophant, Taurus, Energy, and the Ace of Wands with the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Wow. So, yeah, it's like they're doing things right. They're coming to you. I'm doing things right. I am being honest. I'm being upfront. I'm willing to commit, etc., etc. And they're hoping that this is what it takes to, to turn things around, to have an opportunity. I feel like you've gotten this message so many times, Leo. <laughs> and I feel like you just have someone around you that just cannot seem to get it together. Whatever happened, I don't think that they're over it. I don't think they can let it go. I think it consumes them. And I honestly feel if you're dealing with someone with like addiction or someone who their choices have led to like rock bottom, this is all they have that looks like the light at the end of the tunnel, right? Everything else is falling all around them. This is the only thing they can hold on to to have some hope. And for some reason, that involves you, right? Because it's a connection with you. Tell me about this person's overall energy. Okay, we have coming together. Love letter. And lasting promise. I kind of like chuckled there because it's such clear energy. Um, sudden realizations at the bottom of the deck. It's like they want to tell you, yes, you're the one. You're the one for me. I will commit. I've had sudden realizations. I understand now what it is that this connection is for me. This is all they're thinking about. Whoever this is, this is all they're thinking about. But I feel like this person, they had to learn their their lesson the hard way or are learning a lesson really, yeah, look at, this is how they are, this poverty card. They don't have anything. They've lost something big. What's this? Pathway, and they have a long way to go. They, they're very far from where they wanna be, this person. 
Bottom of the bo bottom of the deck is thief. So yeah, I definitely feel like this was someone that deceived you, hid something from you. Um, what do they want to tell Leo? And again, it's like you're the you're that the only thing that could get them out of this mentality. But at the same time, they put themselves there. Let me know if that's resonating. What do they have to tell Leo Spirit? What does this person wish they could tell Leo? What are they? At night, I think of you. Yes. Yes, they do. That this is all they think about at night. In the bottom of the deck, I see you in my dreams. Yes. Um, they're dreaming of you having, you know, you're the last thing they think of before bed, you know, that kind of energy. What else? What else would they tell Leo if they could? What would this person tell Leo if they could, Spirit? They definitely have something to tell you because the Page of Swords is there with the Queen of Swords. Now the Two of Swords could be that they're undecided about how to tell you this or undecided about coming forward, period. Or you're just hard to approach. I feel you leaving me behind. Okay, so there's a bit of a desperation here and I can't stop thinking about you. Yes, this is the energy I'm picking up. Somebody that is constantly thinking about you and wants to re wants to reunite if i could get my words out there's we will be together again at the bottom of the deck this is our energy this is the energy i'm feeling this is what i'm seeing what are their true intentions towards leo and they're i feel like they're going to try to step up in a big way coming together love letter lasting promise this higher font energy uh, with all these kings, you know, it, it's almost like they, they don't want to lose you. Um, or they, they know you're the only good thing they have. Spirit, what is this person's true intentions? What are their true intentions towards Leo? What are their true intentions? Seven of Wands? What are their true intentions? What are their true intentions towards a Leo, towards this connection? What are their true intentions? Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands, and then the Hermit at the bottom of the deck, which is Virgo energy. A lot of Earth energy showed up in like the Major Arcanist. Anyways, okay, so I have here Seven of Wands, Queen of Cups. I instantly think of someone fighting for the person they love. I, I think of someone who, you know, we have the King of Cups here. So the Queen of Cups is like their mate, their partner. But it's almost like I'm, I'm fighting for you. Uh, even if you resist me, I, I'm getting that energy of like, you are the one for me. I have feelings for you. I think they, they practice conversations in their head. <laughs> um, because this hermit, this is them at night planning thinking, even though they're far away from you. Their mind goes back to you. And there's an Ace of Swords behind that. So, you know, it's like they're not just thinking of you. They're thinking of what to tell you. And for whatever reason, it's going to be very truthful or honest, which instantly makes me think of like, I have a confession or I'm going to be very honest with you for the first time or you know, maybe they're used to skirting around things, but this conversation would be very direct. King of Swords behind that. So yeah, no BS here with these energy. Yeah, and the, the Eight of Pentacles. Very um, focused energy, very um, dedicated energy, honest energy. The King of Swords, Queen of Swords, the, you know, they, they get right down to the nitty gritty, right? Tell me about this Seven of Wands. Tell me about the Seven of Wands, please. Knight of Wands and Page of Wands. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to come in hot here. Um, very forceful, motivated, passionate, 
taking action. They definitely want to be bold. Um, you know, Very, I'm getting more forceful energy than anything here. Like walking right up to you, right? Also feeling like they need to take this opportunity, grab this opportunity. The opportunity cannot be missed because I cannot lose the Queen of Cups. So this would be some sort of um, action that they take towards you here. That's their intention. And I definitely feel a message could be coming in. We have Love Letter, Page of, of Swords. You know, the Page of Swords to me is like a text, a quick message, something like that. Um, and I think they're going to tell you that they want to reconnect. That's pretty clear here. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.